coming in. <laughs> Mystic Joe strikes again. Do you know what that is? That is the G Row effect, as my cousin Richard <laughs> likes to say. <laughs> Called it. Do you know what they say? Trust your gut feelings. What did you, you say, pretty much, just for the people who may not have seen it? I said 1 0. I said, I've got a funny feeling we're going to get our first away win of the season. When was that? Thursday. Before that, I fought it all week. I fought it all game. I never felt threatened at no, all in that game. Yeah. I don't know. I just no. had this gut oh, To be feeling. fair, you said you got it nailed on, but you said a smash and grab, which it really yeah. wasn't. I have we to were, say, it, yeah. it wasn't. I was no. going to come on to that. It wasn't a smash and, grab, smash and grab at all. I felt comfortable. I didn't really feel... Fair enough, they might have had the odd one or two chances here or there, but Swansea didn't have anything clean cut. To be fair, neither did we have too many clean yeah. cut chances. But... Um, yeah, whether there was uh, two minutes left of the game, whether there was 30 minutes left, mm. I kept saying all the way through, I went, don't worry, we got this. I just I just knew, I had this feeling. I felt, I felt like, like, like seeing the game out, I did my ass. I weren't going at any point. No, it, it really wasn't. And usually we get that as Millwall fans, especially the dying couple of minutes, everyone's going, no, no, this is Millwall. I was like, for once, I was relaxed. I was just like, don't worry, we got this. And my dad hates that, but I was like, listen, I'm telling you, we got this. <laughs> but... Um, Jed Wallace today. Um, Mate, phenomenal. I, he's, know he's any, his, <laughs> I know you're not his biggest. No, I am. I don't think he's mine <laughs> after, after, after later, uh, recent tweets. But that, that, his energy you can never fall. His commitment you can never fall. When he's on it, he was like, he was like one man. It was like watching a kid's game with a one man team at yeah. times. It, no disrespect to any of the rest of our players who worked their bollocks off, was first in the tackles, upsetting the play, disrupted by. When he was going on them runs, mate, yeah. fucking unreal. I'll tell you what, Jed That's Wallace. What I expect from him. Jed Wallace, give that man a knighthood. <laughs> That's what I said earlier because. When he, I think you've said it before in one of the interviews or pre-match, whatever. When he is on song, yeah. the whole team's on song, and that was just a great performance. Mm. So, I wouldn't say I wouldn't get overexcited. Say it was a brilliant performance. Job done though. We done the right things today, and I think row it. When you see the lineup, you think, but vast not You think, hold on, what's going on here? But do you know what? It worked, it and yeah. he's yeah. got his tactics spot. Listen, we've got our first away win of the season. So he's got something right today. I, sus- I, sus- I suspect that Bradshaw may have been carried a slight knock, but at least they'll be fresh for Tuesday. Yeah, competition for places good at good at eight to have. Yeah, listen, I thought um, I don't know what the deal was with not citing Bradshaw, but I thought okay, like maybe maybe Wright is thinking something like maybe a different approach today, try a different style. But um, I did think when he brought Bradshaw on towards the end as well. At first, I thought, oh, well done, like. He's bringing another striker on. You want to just hold the game out. Yeah. But then my mind sort of started to flip. I thought... It's opened our minds to new possibilities. I thought, Let, let's think of it from Wright's point of view. And yeah. then I started to think... My dad went, no, no, no. Why is he bringing on another striker? And I went, listen, trust the well, man. Last week. He last... seems to know what he's doing. And exactly, I thought, yeah, yeah. I thought, listen, well, maybe with two strikers on the pitch, get the ball up there. You've got two people yeah. to hold it up exactly. there then and keep the possession up there yeah. rather than one man on his Spot own. On. So I was, I was flipped it and looked it from that point I think, you know, we like to give our opinions on this channel and I think I've gone last week against Cholton. Hang on, we can get a point here while we're sticking two on, won the game. We're winning today. Hang on, don't stick two on, win the game. Yeah. From now on, I just think we keep our mouth shut and just let Gary Rowe do his job. Like, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's all about opinions. But um, like I said, that was my initial opinion, why are you bringing two on? But... Listen, it's worse. So as you said, I think, listen, just relax. Don't say anything. Let the man do his job. Fuck the fucking channel, eh? There you go. One nil. Did you back it? I didn't. But <laughs> should have done. But like I said, it weren't a smash and grab. But yeah, I said we get it. First away win of the season. Brilliant away day. Well done, mate. You'll be done on that until Wednesday, <laughs> will not you? Well done.